What's up guys, back with another video and just want to make a couple announcements and talk about some winter plans that I have uh, starting to take shape. Uh, so basically, first announcement is the Vosquare ECUs are officially in stock. We have a couple more units in stock and after those sell out, we will be restocking with probably 10 to 20 units um, so we can stay in stock a little bit longer. Uh, but again, these are for 94 through 98 P80s and also S90s, 960s and V90s. And the video before this has a whole detailed description of that product so you can go check that out. And also, I will link the, uh, the website in the description. It's hellmooseperformance.com, uh, but I'll put a direct link to the product. But uh, the main purpose of this video is I wanted to start talking about some winter plans that I have, and so let's get to it. So here is a beautiful, beautiful 1998 V70 XC all-wheel drive. So I bought this wagon for $500. I picked it up, uh, I guess, two or three weeks ago now. And yeah, it's a beater, but it was $500 and I was looking for a beater because I want to take some parts for this from this. And specifically, I want to take mm, this guy and this entire rear end and I want to cut it out and I want to put it in this car. So that's what I think I'm going to be doing this winter. Um, I've done a lot of research. I've talked to people who've done the swap. It's really not bad at all. Um, basically, the entire rear end and gas tank all swap into this. There's two new brackets you can buy new. Um, the viscous coupler bracket up here that uh, gets welded and bolted to the to the uh, body. And there's also four brackets. Let's see if we can get a good view of them. There's four brackets that actually hold the uh, entire rear subframe to the car. They're, they're up here, you can't really see them. Basically, those are no longer available from Volvo, but if mine are in good condition, I can chop them off. Uh, you can see they're kinda up here. You can't really see it right there, those brackets. If they're in good condition, I can chop them off, clean them up, and I'll be able to weld them onto this body or frame. But um, it shouldn't be too bad to get this whole thing in there because basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a jig. Um, so the all-wheel drives actually share a common mount point with the front-wheel drives and it is um, right up here where the spring spring goes. Um, so on these cars there is a uh, where the spring actually seats up against the I guess the frame rail. I mean it's a unibody so it doesn't really have a frame rail. Um, there's a bolt point there so basically I can create a jig that bolts off of that that goes to all four of those corner mounts, and then I can bolt that back into here and so I'll know where to actually weld all those four brackets to. But this car, it didn't come with a drive shaft, someone converted it to front wheel drive, but that means I got it for cheaper. And the angle gear works, angle gear spins no problems, there's not a lot of excessive backlash, and the rear end works fine. So I tested all this stuff before I actually bought it. So you can see the rear spins and everything, no problems. Um, it's gonna need a lot of cleanup work back here. It's kind of dirty, a lot of stuff's rusted. Uh, I think these are called stays. Probably gonna get new ones of those. Probably gonna get new, all new control arms, all new bushings, um, just refurbish the entire rear end. Uh, reseal the rear case, put all new bearings in it, seals, yada, yada. But I'm gonna be taking this thing apart soon. I'm gonna be bringing you guys on the journey. I haven't decided 100% if I'm gonna put it all in this car, but I am gonna pull out the rear and um, the angle gear and all the other associated components, gas tank, and probably just set them off to the side for now until I make a final decision. But I think I'm about 90% sure that I wanna do this, but you guys can let me know in the description below or the comments below what you think of this uh, idea for the winter. Um, now, obviously a lot of you guys are gonna be like, oh, well, the angle gears are super weak and they're not gonna be able to take 800 horsepower. And yeah, they are super weak, but I have a plan for this. And I have something I've been designing that's gonna replace the angle gear. And I'm gonna have a whole nother video on that. And I think it's really cool. I think you guys are gonna enjoy seeing the entire design process I took, as well as the, uh, you know, prototyping process, the rapid prototyping process I took and how I got everything to work. But that's for another video. This is just a quick update video. I wanted to show you guys this wagon and uh, see what you guys think about my ideas for the winter. So. Quick video, again, ball squirt units are up for sale, and we're gonna be having more content on pulling this thing apart, mocking up the jig and everything, and seeing what we can do with this thing. And 
you know, I think it's going to be really, really awesome to have an all-wheel drive T5R. Maybe we'll put 225 radials on all fours. Who knows? But this rear end's also really strong. It's actually the same one out of like the 960s and S90s, and it's got a G80 locker in it. So I can do the locker mod and have a legit limited slip back here, or I can just buy a wave track limited slip for back here. Um, the rears are really strong. The only concern is obviously the angle gears for launching. From a roll, it's fine. You know, I got to hear the P2 angle gear. I just took apart recently just because I'm checking it out and doing some measuring. Obviously, you can't use this gear because it has a different ratio. Uh, this is a 331 rear ratio. That's like a 273 or 261 or something like that. But I mean, from a roll, I think the all wheel drive is going to be fine for 7,800 horsepower. But if I want to start launching this thing with all wheel drive, I don't think it's going to hold up. So we'll see. Quick video, quick updates. I got some stuff in the works and uh, hopefully we're going to be pumping out more content. And I think this swap is going to be a really cool project and I want to bring you guys along for the ride. So until the next video, guys.